In this video, we will show you how to replace your fuel injector. On this Dodge Ram, you'll have eight of these, four along each side of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. To do any of the fuel injectors, you're going to want to make sure that you remove the air filter housing. To do that, we'll make our way along the passenger side of it, grab onto the air inlet tube, and pull it out of place. Once you have that removed, continue on to your breather hose. We'll give that a quick squeeze, make sure it's soft and pliable and it's not torn, worn, or damaged. Set it aside. Make your way over to the driver's side where the air box connects to the throttle body. In this area, you'll find an 8mm headed clamp. Loosen the clamp and remove the air filter housing box from the area. Now that we have that out of the way, the next thing you want to pay attention to is along the driver's side fuel rail. We're looking for this black plastic cap. Go ahead and remove that. Underneath it, you'll find a small Schrader valve. We're going to release pressure from inside of the fuel system. When you do this, it's a good idea to have a rag right around this area and we'll be pressing down on the center to release the pressure. Just want to be careful doing this. There we are. Now once you've pressed in on that button, there shouldn't be any pressure coming out of this. Now that we've evacuated pressure from in the fuel system, we can start dismounting the wiring harnesses from each one of the fuel injectors. Now I'm going to be replacing this fuel injector right here. Commonly, people will be replacing all of the fuel injectors at the same time. If that's the case, you want to make sure that you pop all of the electrical harnesses off of each one of the fuel injectors. In our instance, I'm replacing this one, so what I'll do is I'll reach down in here. There's a small red locking tab that you can grab onto and lift it up. Once you've done that, we'll continue on to squeezing on the little locking tab here, and we should be able to pull this up and out. We'll give it a quick check for corrosion. There's that red locking tab that I spoke about. And we can set this aside. As I had mentioned, I'm only replacing this fuel injector. If you are replacing others, go ahead and disconnect those now. Once you've disconnected each one of the fuel injectors that you are planning on removing, we'll continue on to removing the bolts that hold the fuel rail down to the intake. Use a 13 millimeter to remove the pair. Now we can take hold of the fuel rail, go ahead and give it a little wiggle. It should be free from the intake. We're going to start lifting this up. As we do so, each one of these fuel injectors will come up at the same time. If you have a hard time lifting this up, you could also try using a small pry bar or even a screwdriver. You want to be extremely careful not to damage anything. There we are. Now since I'm only replacing this one right here, I'm going to continue with this point. Otherwise, if you were replacing all of them down the line, go ahead and lift up the rearward injectors as well. Now we can pay attention to where the fuel injector connects into the fuel rail. In this area, you'll find that you have a metal clamp that makes its way all the way around the backside, all the way over to here. To get this out of place, you can use a small screwdriver or a small pick. Be careful not to drop it. There's that locking clip. We'll give it a close inspection, make sure it is still reusable, and set that aside. Now we can take hold of the fuel rail and the fuel injector. We'll give it a little twist and separate the two. Once again, if you have a hard time pulling it out of place, you can try prying it out of place using a screwdriver or pry bar.
There we are. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new fuel injector. To install this, you want to use a clean hand, a little bit of clean motor oil, just along each one of those two seals. Now we can take this and put it in place. We're going to put it right up inside that fuel rail right here. Once you have it up in there, continue on with your locking clip. Sliding this in can be a little bit difficult sometimes. You'll just have to work it around until that seal makes its way up in. There we are. Let's double check to make sure it's completely seated. Put it in the proper angle and we can put in our locking clip. As for this locking clip, you want to make sure you have it in this position. We'll come in along the back side there, along the intake, and we'll slide it right on in. Trying to find my grooves. Double check to make sure that the fuel injector is completely seated. Try to pull it out of there. That feels nice and tight. At this point, the process will be the exact same thing for each and every one going down the line. As we start putting the fuel injectors down into the intake, you want to pay attention to each and every one of them, making sure that they're aligned properly before you press this down and into the intake. This looks good here. I'll double check along the back side just to ensure everything's where it needs to be. Now we can press this down and into the proper position. Give it a little wiggle. If you need to use a little bit of clean motor oil down in those bottom seals, you can go ahead and do so. Press that down. My way back here. There we are. Once you have it pressed in, continue on with each of your two 13 millimeter headed mounting bolts. We'll start them both in and then we can snug them up. And of course, we'll just make sure these are nice and snug. There's that one. Now we can reconnect our electrical connector. Once you press this into the proper position, you want to take this red locking tab and press it all the way down. Press that on there. Double check to make sure it is on there securely. Lock it in. Reinstall the cap on the fuel rail. Once you've done the fuel injectors on one side of the intake, you want to go over and do the exact same thing on the other. Now we can install the air filter housing. This area right here will go over the throttle body. You also have this rubber bushing, which will be along the forward area. That will go right along this alignment stud. Let's get this in position. Slide it in. I'm going to align it with that alignment stud. Press it down. At this point, we'll just shake it around a little bit until it's completely bottomed out against the throttle body. Once it is, go ahead and tighten that 8mm headed clamp. Let's make sure that's nice and snug to the throttle body so no dirty air makes its way into the engine. Let's install the air inlet hose. Move along to the breather hose. Okay friends, we showed you how to install your fuel injector on your vehicle. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle. Make sure you don't have any fuel leaks along where the fuel injector and fuel rail is on both sides of the engine. After that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.